Zerach, Ecclesiasticus 38. Honor a physician with the honor due unto him for the uses which ye may have of him. For Yahuwah has created him. For of El Elyon comes healing, and he shall receive honor of the kings. The skill of the physician shall lift up his head, and in the sight of great men he shall be in admiration. Yahuwah has created medicines out of the earth, and he that is wise will not abhor them. Was not the water made sweet with wood, that the virtue thereof might be known? And he has given men skill, that he might be honored in his marvelous works. With such he heals men and takes away their pains. Of such the apothecary makes a confection, and of his works there is no end, and from him is peace over all the earth. My son, in your sickness be not negligent, but pray unto Yahuwah, and he will make you whole. Leave off from sin, and order your hands aright, and cleanse your heart from all wickedness. Give a sweet savor, and a memorial of fine flour, and make a fat offering as not being. Then give place to the physician, for Yahuwah has created him. Let him not go from you, for you have need of him. There is a time when in their hands there is good success, for they shall also pray unto Yahuwah that he would prosper that which they give for ease and remedy to prolong life. He that sins before his Maker, let him fall into the hand of the physician. My son, let tears fall down over the dead and begin to lament as if you had suffered great harm yourself, and then cover his body according to the custom, and neglect not his burial. Weep bitterly, and make great moan, and use lamentation, as he is worthy, and that a day or two, lest you be evil spoken of, and then comfort yourself for your heaviness. For of heaviness comes death, and the heaviness of the heart breaks strength. In affliction also sorrow remains, and the life of the poor is the curse of the heart. Take no heaviness to heart. Drive it away, and remember the last end. Forget it not, for there is no turning again. You shall not do him good, but hurt yourself. Remember my judgment, for you also shall be so. Yesterday for me, and today for you. When the dead is at rest, let his remembrance rest, and be comforted for him, when his ruach is departed from him. The wisdom of a learned man comes by opportunity of leisure, and he that has little business shall become wise. How can he get wisdom that holds the plow, and that glories in the goad, that drives the ox, and is occupied in their labors, and whose talk is of bullocks? He gives his mind to make furrows, and is diligent to give the kine fodder. So every carpenter and workmaster that labors night and day, and they that cut and grave seals, and are diligent to make great variety, and give themselves to counterfeit imagery, and watch to finish a work. The smith also, sitting by the anvil, and considering the ironwork, the vapor of the fire wastes his flesh, and he fights with the heat of the furnace. The noise of the hammer and the anvil is ever in his ears, and his eyes look still upon the pattern of the thing that he makes. 
he sets his mind to finish his work and watches to polish it perfectly. So does the potter sitting at his work and turning the wheel about with his feet, who is always careful set at his work and makes all his work by number. He fashions the clay with his arm and bows down his strength before his feet. He applies himself to lead it over. And he is diligent to make clean the furniture. All these trust to their hands, and everyone is wise in his work. Without these cannot a city be inhabited, and they shall not dwell where they will, nor go up and down. They shall not be sought for in public council, nor sit high in the assembly. They shall not sit on the judge's seat, nor understand the sentence of a judgment, rather of judgment. They cannot declare justice and judgment, and they shall not be found where parables are spoken, but they will maintain the state of the world, and all their desire is in the work of their craft.